Victor and Darcy, two members of a notorious mafia, get a call and rush over to their boss Alphonse's home where one of their members, Polly, was found dead in a freezer and dropped in the boss's home without anyone knowing. Alphonse soon arrives and scolds the helpers for not keeping the house alarm on, but they swear that it was. In Polly's hand is a note, and inside Polly's mouth is a piece of a photo. The photo is just a piece of an incomplete photo puzzle of a man and his family that Alphonse received from the man targeting him. Alphonse matches the unique writing of the number 7 to the one on the back of a photo, then reveals that he knows who is targeting him. At the base of a local gangster named Harry, his Jamaican goons are hanging around when Alphonse, along with the others, turn up and hold the men at gunpoint, outgunning them. Inside another room, Harry is tearing up some cheeks when Alphonse and the men barge in. The cheeks hurriedly escape the room, and Harry is shocked at the disrespect. Alphonse shows him a picture of Polly, then reveals that he has been receiving three months of letters and pictures and has to be watching his back because some coward is tormenting him. He thinks that Polly was onto the culprit but was killed before he could reveal it to him. Harry mocks him for having a lot of enemies and gets his jaw rearranged. Harry and Alphonse had a disagreement around three months ago over money and think it is not a coincidence. Alphonse shows Harry the puzzle picture, but Harry has no idea about any of this. Realizing that Alphonse is here to end him, Harry declares that Alphonse is not authorized to kill him, since the real boss they work for has to give the green light. Alphonse knows he is right, but shoots Harry dead anyways, kicking off an intense shootout between the men outside. Alphonse runs out of bullets, and two gangsters chase after him and corner him in a room, but Victor, despite being shot, manages to take out the men from the vents before they can kill Alphonse. The survivors recover after the fight, and Alphonse shows his silent respect to Victor. We then meet Beatrice, who is coming out of surgery after a brutal accident that left her severely disfigured. Beatrice happens to be neighbors with Victor, and at night, he can see her looking at him through her window intently. She waves to him, and Victor hesitantly waves back, not sure what to make of her. Beatrice lives with her mother, who urges her to ask Victor out since she's always staring, but Beatrice goes to her room where she looks at her scarred face and breaks down in tears. A few days later, Victor is collecting his mail when he gets a letter from Beatrice and her number. He calls her later that night, and they go out onto the balcony to talk. The two formally introduce themselves and do a Wi-Fi handshake. They meet for dinner the following night, where Victor lies that he is working in real estate. Beatrice is a bit uncomfortable, as people nearby keep staring, but Victor keeps her talking. She tells him about her accident which left her disfigured, but Victor is not concerned with it. She wants to take him somewhere, so the two go for a drive. She directs him to stop in front of a house, then grimly reveals that she knows more about Victor than he thinks. She then shows Victor a video of him killing Polly which leaves him speechless, but Beatrice vows to keep his secret. In return, she has brought him to the home of the driver who crashed into her while drunk, and she wants him to kill him. Refusing to hear any excuses, Beatrice threatens to call the police. She is consumed by rage and starts to get loud. Victor pulls his gun to shut her up, but she grabs it, and a shot goes off. Victor speeds off trying to convince Beatrice that she has no idea what she is getting into, but she screams at him, then pulls the handbrake, causing them to spin out on the road. She reminds him that she could have called the police before jumping out and heading home. Victor then meets with his father-in-law Gregor, who brings him to a shipping yard to meet another man named Andres. Victor is presented with a modified Dragunov rifle to carry out his plans of revenge. Afterwards, it is revealed that Gregor knows of Victor infiltrating Alphonse to seek revenge for his slain family, but wonders what he is waiting for, worried he might miss his chance. Later we see Victor watching videos of his slain wife and daughter with an intense focus on his face. We then see Victor listening in on some Albanian gangsters talking about the brother of the boss who cannot be found. Victor then drives to an unknown location and grabs a bottle of water and his bag from his truck. He walks until he gets to a massive abandoned ship and goes inside, where he has the brother held hostage. Victor changes his water like a hamster, ignoring the man when he warns that his brother Alir will find him. Victor snaps a few photos of the man then leaves him crying. Victor then goes to visit Beatrice at her apartment where he has decided to accept the hit on the drunk driver named Alex. She gives him Alex's schedule, noting that he visits a local bar every night. 
Beatrice reveals that she never thought of revenge until she saw Victor kill Polly. She wants to know how he did it, but Victor reminds her that he is not here by choice. Beatrice's mother then interrupts them. She has taken a liking to Victor and shows him pictures of Beatrice, hoping to find a boyfriend for her. The next day Darcy is trying to pinpoint the location where one of Alfonso's pictures was taken. Based on the angle, he locates the building and the exact floor. He sees a man living a floor above who reveals that he saw a man just like him taking photos. Darcy shows a picture of Polly, but the man just smiles. Later, Alphonse gets a call from the big boss Lon, who is angry at him for killing Harry and his Jamaicans, and demands that he come see him at a cafe in town. Overhearing the conversation is Victor who has a network of wiretaps on all the gang members. Alphonse gets to the cafe and meets with Lon. He tells Lon about the target on his back and his suspicions of Harry and he only went to get answers. Meanwhile, Victor readies his rifle on a nearby roof when he gets a call from Darcy who reveals that he found out that Harry was not involved and he thinks Alphonse may still be in danger. This spooks Victor who is not sure of his next move. Inside, Lon shows Alphonse pictures of himself which he and the other bosses received and information from an unknown source about Alphonse's dealings. He has ruled out the Jamaicans as he received a note this morning along with a key tape to it. Seeing that Alphonse is wrapped up in something he wants no part of, he demands that Alphonse get his books together and gather all the money that he owes them. Victor then takes aim at Alphonse, and Beatrice who had been trailing him spots him. Victor shoots the driver dead then opens fire on the men. They spot Victor and give chase, trying to cut him off in the building. Victor has not yet been made, and he does his best in trying to avoid the men who he works with. Victor creates a diversion to make it seem like he escaped through the window, and when a man comes to check he is attacked and pushed to his death. Another man recognizes Victor, but is shot dead before Victor escapes using the ropes. He tries to escape on foot as the men give chase, but luckily Beatrice picks him up in her car. They spin the block and park quickly just as Darcy and the man come running up. They see Victor inside, and think that the actual attacker must have gotten away. Alphonse turns up and Darcy reveals that he spoke with a man who saw the person who took the picture who then got into a gypsy cab. Alphonse orders him to track down the cab. The men hurriedly clear the scene and Victor wonders why Darcy would go digging with the photos, but Darcy thinks that if he can solve this he could step up in the organization. Victor warns him to not push too hard using Polly as an example but Darcy is determined to gain the respect of Alphonse. Alphonse and two enforcers track down the mailbox that the key got from Juan belongs to. The men are hesitant to open it, thinking it may be a bomb, but when they do it turns out to be a recording of a child's voice laughing and two other pieces to the photo puzzle. Later Victor calls Beatrice, wondering why she would follow him, but it turns out she has been following him for a while to learn more about him. Beatrice returns his bag he left in her car and he invites her inside. Victor reveals his real name to be Laszlo Karak, born in Hungary, but moved to America with his wife looking for work. The family lived in a building that Alphonse's gang wanted to control and after an attack on the residents a stray bullet killed his daughter. There was a trial and Victor and his wife were supposed to testify, but Alphonse sent a hired team of Albanian gangsters who killed his wife and left him for dead. Beatrice now understands and gifts him a rabbit's foot as a good luck charm. She now does not see the point in calling the cops, as she wants Victor to get his revenge. That night Victor waits until Alex leaves to break into his home, meanwhile, Alphonse finds the bug implanted in his phone. The next day, Victor heads to his gang's hideout where he has rigged the entire place with bombs. Suddenly, Alphonse and some men turn up, and Victor is trapped in the rafters. He manages to climb down and exit through the bathrooms, where he realizes that the building has a new security system. Later, he learns from Grater who tells him the new system will force him to activate the bombs from inside. Grater knows he wants his revenge but reminds him that he doesn't want to lose Victor as well. Beatrice comes over, and while he talks, she finds his weapons room and learns about his military background. She learns of his plan to lure the Albanians to the warehouse along with Alphonse and blow the place up, and realizes that he may be on a one-way mission. We then see Alir receive an anonymous mail with a picture of his brother bound. He has also received pieces of a picture that is almost complete. Victor overhears a call between Alphonse and his goon Fons talking about meeting with Lon at 9, but it turns out Alphonse and Fons are trying to set up whoever tapped his phone. 
Victor then gets a visit from Darcy who has found the gypsy cab. The two head over to the spot where the cab dropped Paul off. Victor wants to leave, but Darcy sees a cemetery nearby and plans to investigate further. Victor then gets an alert and manages to get Darcy to leave. Victor gets to the location where Alphonse is to meet Lon, however, he encounters Alphonse who is sitting and waiting for him. It turns out that Alphonse had called Victor to come by and not to alert Darcy. He knows that the threat is within his own crew, but he does not suspect Victor since he saved his life at Harry's. Victor then goes to visit Alir's brother, then convinces him that he is being held in Alphonse's warehouse and he should make a video to his brother. Victor makes the video where the man says exactly what he wants to. Victor then removes the man's blindfolds and he recognizes Victor, swearing that they killed him. Victor then releases some hungry rats nearby, and they swarm the men before Victor shoots him dead. Victor heads outside to catch his breath and gather himself to continue his mission. He gets a call from Darcy who has a meeting with the cemetery manager and decides to join him. Before, he meets with Beatrice and gives her the video and instructions to mail it to Alir. He gets to the cemetery where Darcy explains that Polly took a cab to the cemetery and inquired about someone buried there, but due to the number of graves they delay the search. Beatrice puts on a nice dress and heads out, but a group of kids bully her causing her to fall and hit her head and mess up her dress with blood. Victor soon comes by and sees the injury and she gives him the tracking number for the package she delivered. She follows him to the elevators where Victor asks her out on a real date and she accepts. The next day Victor picks out a new dress for Beatrice. He gets a call from Darcy who has somehow figured out the name Laszlo Carrick. Victor now realizes that his revenge mission is in jeopardy. He decides to get serious and focus, leaving the dress behind. The following night he picks up Beatrice who is excited about their date but Victor brings her to the bar that Alex usually hangs out at and tells her he is prepared to do the job. Beatrice, however, is having second thoughts as she is falling for Victor, but he painfully turns her down leaving her heartbroken. They then see Alex leaving the bar in a drunk state and Victor goes after him. He ambushes Alex at his car and soon returns, telling her that the job is done. That night, Darcy brings Alphonse to the cemetery where he shows them Victor's daughter's grave, thinking it must be someone who knew the family as her father Laszlo should be dead. Fonz then notes that Delphine passed on her birthday, which is tomorrow. Alphonse then calls Alir, reminding him about the incident and wanting to confirm if he saw everyone dead, but Alir cannot confirm if he saw Laszlo die. Alir and his men gather their weapons and are setting out when he gets the delivery Victor sent. Victor then gets to the gang's base and arms all the bombs before sitting and waiting. After a while, no one shows up at the warehouse and Victor realizes that Beatrice did not mail the package. She tearfully tells him that she does not want him to die and wanted to mess up any plans he had to. Meanwhile, Darcy, who arrives at Victor's apartment, doesn't hear him and breaks in. He finds the secret room and now realizes that Victor is actually Laszlo and sees his completed family picture. Beatrice is heading to Victor's apartment but runs into Darcy, who grabs her. Darcy is mad at Victor for lying to him, but Victor tries to urge him to walk away. Darcy plans to take Beatrice to Alphonse and tells Victor to pull up. He brings Beatrice to Alphonse where the Albanians are also there. He completes the picture for the men when suddenly all their phones begin to go off. They then hear engines, and suddenly Victor's truck comes crashing into the house. An intense gunfight erupts, with Victor taking on the house filled with men. He takes a shot to his chest from Fonz but manages to skillfully kill him. He then sets off bombs hidden in his truck and finishes off the goons. Alphonse and Alir take Beatrice to their surveillance room while Darcy goes looking for Victor. Darcy is scared, and Victor soon holds him at gunpoint but decides to spare his life. Alir then decides to take on Victor in a shootout, and Alphonse, boiling with rage, joins the gunfight, not realizing that Beatrice has escaped the room. He soon realizes and goes searching for her when he hears a video playing. Beatrice tries to hide but soon Alir holds a gun to her. He then sees his brother's video and raises his gun to Alphonse, who warns him to lower it and the two men end up shooting each other dead. Victor finds Beatrice, and the two are leaving the wrecked house when Darcy holds a gun to them. He wonders if Victor saved him because he has a wife and child, but Victor corrects him, saying that they have him. The two men lower their guns and Darcy allows them to leave. 
the two take a train leaving the city and share a long-awaited kiss. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more movies like this. Thanks for watching.